There's a new state of Telangana. We're the, we are the youngest state in India. In fact, the state of Telangana was founded in 2014 on the 2nd of June. It's been eight and a half years. And as uh, was pointed out in the AV, the state of Telangana has been doing some truly amazing things. Our per capita income has risen by almost 130 percent. Our gross state domestic product, the GSDP, has also risen by almost 130 percent. Our IT exports have risen by 250 percent. And our agriculture activity has expanded by 119 percent. Our green cover, our forest area, has also increased from 24 percent to 31.7 percent of the geographical area. Our contribution to India's GDP, in terms of numbers, just to give you and just to put things in perspective, if I have to sum up Telangana's uh, story in a nutshell. Geographically, we are the 11th largest state in India. Population-wise, we are the 12th largest state in India. But in terms of contribution to India's economy, India's GDP, we are the fourth largest state in India. We are only, we are only two and a half percent of India's population, but our contribution to India's GDP is five percent. So this is literally like a 50 kilo boxer punching in a 100 kilo category. That's what we do. We punch double our weight. That's what Telangana is for you. I call my state the most successful startup of independent India. In the last 75 years after India's independence. There are several things that have been done in Telangana, which unfortunately have not happened anywhere else in India. I don't know, for those of you who are from various parts of the world, let me tell you, since we are just about coming out of the pandemic, let me tell you that one third of human vaccines produced globally are made in Hyderabad, made in Telangana. Nine billion doses of vaccines are manufactured from Telangana. Come next year, this number is going to increase. In fact, the 9 billion doses number is going to go up to 14 billion doses. That will be about 50% of global vaccine production happening from one single province, one single city, that is Hyderabad. Let me also tell you that not only in life sciences, but even in technology, we have the who's who of the technology world all in Hyderabad. And not just in terms of their presence, but we have their second largest campuses anywhere in the world. In fact, most of the U.S. technology companies, if you look at the top five, top ten, or even top twenty, almost all of their second largest bases are right here in the city of Hyderabad. You take any of them, Apple, Google, Meta, Microsoft, our dear friend Satya uh, heads Microsoft, you know, he's also gone to the same school as uh, Shantanu, the Hyderabad Public School, and also Uber, Salesforce, Micron, Qualcomm, ServiceNow, who you have introduced to us, all of their second largest campuses in the world are in this beautiful city of Hyderabad. I think you see where I'm going with this, right? Adobe only has 100 people, so therefore I'm pitching to Shantanu that he should also make Hyderabad. And I should be adding Adobe's name every time I speak, every time I pitch to any investor across the world. I want to tell them that my dear friend Shantanu also chose Hyderabad for his second largest campus. And I know you're going to Bangalore day after tomorrow. Let me also tell you, it's not going to be a breeze walking in and out of Bangalore just the way it is in Hyderabad. You will see it yourself, you will experience it yourself. And in case you need a, in case you need a chopper to ferry you from the airport to wherever you're going, I can send you one from Telangana government. But let me... Uh, let me also, I mean, I don't want to trash Bangalore too much. I'm sure there are Bangaloreans here. I saw Vani Kola somewhere. Vani, you should move to Hyderabad, wherever you are. I think you should move to Hyderabad very, very soon, along with Kalari Capital's team, lock, stock and barrel. But, jokes apart, given the volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous world we all live in, innovation is a critical means by which countries, cities, states, can create and sustain competitive advantage and drive inclusive growth. Entrepreneurs create economic value and need to be motivated, cultivated and nurtured to the greatest degree. My friend Murali called entrepreneurship an enchantress and that too right in front of your wife. I don't know how, that, how well that went but I'll, I'll, I'll leave that for later. 
Webster's Dictionary defines an ecosystem as a complex of a community of organisms and its environment functioning as an ecological unit. An innovation ecosystem is a term used to describe the various players, stakeholders, and community members that are critical for innovation. Thai, as a, an initiative, has been a brilliant success story since its inception in 1992, about 30 years ago. And it is truly a model in creating a nurturing ecosystem for entrepreneurs across the world. So my compliments to the entire team of Thai for this brilliant journey over the last 30 years. I think you guys deserve a big round of applause. <laughs> Thai has also played an active role in engaging with the Telangana government and also the Telangana innovation ecosystem. And their support has been critical in helping us with the primary objective of building the best-in-class advisory services and resources for our entrepreneurs, which may include, but not limited, to subject matter experts, mentorship, education, technology and product support, global expansion, business, business network, sources of financing, markets and media exposure, connections to venture capital and private equity investors, and the list goes on. We are, as I said, we like to believe and we take a lot of pride in this. We are a startup state. You know, we work with the bent of mind of a startup. We are agile when it comes to progressive policies. We are agile when it comes to policy making. We're, we take a lot of pride in building and in enabling an innovation ecosystem. T-Hub, T-Works, V-Hub, TSIC, Rich, Task, NCAM, Emerging Technologies, and image. All of these are various entities created by the government of Telangana over the last eight years in terms of ensuring that our youngsters, that our young innovators and young entrepreneurs have a platform to chase their dreams. As Shantanu put it, this is a time, I, I think uh, unlike any other, where a youngster can, without even thinking twice, without having to go to the Bay Area or without having to catch a flight, can pursue their dreams to the fullest uh, by being in Hyderabad, by being in India. With T-Hub, in the last five years, it has been a brilliant journey. I was just explaining to Shantanu. The first rocket launched by a private space tech company from India was launched on the 18th of November. It was aptly named after Vikram Sarabhai. And fortunately for us, and it's a matter of great pride for us, that company was incubated, the space tech company was incubated at T-Hub, it is called Skyroot, and they were able to put the rocket into the space in their very first attempt. Even Elon Musk had to try tries, but I think our guys had pulled it off in the first, very first, uh, you know, attempt, and I'm very proud of it. Likewise, there's another bunch of youngsters here somewhere. They represent a company called Dhruva Space, and they're the first Indian space tech company to have put three nanosatellites there somewhere here in the audience, three nanosatellites into the orbit exactly four days after the first space tech company from Hyderabad sent its first rocket. And this again is a Hyderabad company, this again is a T-Hub company and super proud of that as well. Today, it's an honor to host the TGS 22 in Hyderabad and it's a testimony to the power of entrepreneurship and we take great pride welcoming all the dignitaries, the delegates, speakers, and guests at the event. As per the Startup Genome Report, Telangana today stands among the top 10 cities in the global ecosystem in affordable talent. We also stand among top 15 in the Asian ecosystem for funding. We also stand in the top 15 in the global ecosystem in the bang for buck category. DPIIT, Government of India's um, has recognized Telangana as a top, for, top performer for developing a strong startup ecosystem in the state. Telangana has also ranked fourth for performance in India Innovation Index report released by the Niti Aayog. Today, Paul Graham, the founder of Y Combinator, America's leading technology startup accelerator, said something about startups that resonated with me. Make something that people want. This is exactly what our Honorable Chief Minister 
reminds us on a day-to-day -day basis. Whenever I go and talk to him about technology, whenever I tell him about something new that is really broken through, he has one simple question. He says, does it have a positive societal impact? How will it change the life of a common man in India? He believes very firmly that technology which does not have a positive societal impact is futile. Technology that does not solve real-world problems is merely fancy and is of no use and no appeal. Today, we have more than 6,500 plus startups in Telangana across 50 plus sectors. As I mentioned, India's first space startup in the private sector, Skyroot, was incubated in T-Hub. Darwin Box became a unicorn earlier this year. Keka, an HR tech firm, secured India's largest Series A SaaS funding with a 57 million raise. Telangana, of course, will continue to support entities as Thai through our policies, programs, and ecosystem enablers such as T-Hub and other entities. Just like a dandelion, we aim to spread the impact of Indian entrepreneurs across the globe, and I wish that dream, that audacious goal that was mentioned of creating a million startups and impacting trillions of dollars of wealth across the world. A very all the very best, wishing the entire team of Thai and all the attendees in this beautiful city of Hyderabad all the very best over the next 48 hours. Thank you very much. Jai Telangana. Jai Hind.